what I said a couple years ago is a 50% chance that somewhere there will be signs of life of AGI in 2030. According to one of the most respected people in computer science, John Carmack, there's a more than 50% chance that the next phase of AI is going to be here in the next 10 years. The bombshell is Carmack claims AGI could be created in less than 10,000 lines of code by a single person. And this has led him to dropping everything to work on his new company, Keen Technologies, which has already raised over $20 million. This next phase of AI is called AGI, Artificial Generalized Intelligence. And in this video, we're gonna bring AGI into clear view. We'll define what it means because it is still debated. We'll see how Carmack backs up these claims on how close AGI is. And rather than hit you with the typical, do we need to be worried about the singularity quotes, I'll talk about a few specific fields of AI ethics that are relevant so you can sound intelligent at the next tech conference or Silicon Valley happy hour that you attend. Specific siloed AI and ML models, such as the DALI image generator, are able to do very impressive tasks, such as generative images, or in the case of GPT-3 and Lambda, text generation, AI is driving cars, DeepMind is beating gamers at their own games. These applications are very impressive and have led to 35% of the companies in the world actively using AI in their business, with an additional 42% exploring AI opportunities. But this is quite literally the tip of the iceberg. As happened with computing, which became more generalized over time, we're moving in the same direction with AI, turning into more of a platform with a unified, centralized intelligence. Most broadly, AGI will be able to acquire and then deploy deploy reasoning, planning, learning, and communicating skills, which allow it to take sensory inputs, such as audio, visual, or text, and then convert them into specific actions. Now, this is the baseline definition, but where it actually meets these criteria is up for debate. You can ask 10 different researchers and get 10 different answers, but the most concrete benchmarks we have can be boiled down to the four tests. The first one is the Turing test. It's probably the one you've already heard of. This is when a computer can fool a human into thinking the computer is a human. Now, computers today have already passed the Turing test. And importantly, in this context, the Turing test does not qualify AGI, but rather it does disqualify it. In other words, if it fails the Turing test, it is definitely not AGI. The next test, and this is where things get a bit more interesting, is the coffee test created by Steve Wozniak. In this test, an AI would have to enter an average American home and figure out how to make coffee, which would include finding the coffee machine, the coffee, adding the water, finding a mug, and brewing the coffee by pushing the right buttons. It can take in sensory inputs and convert them into actions at a baseline level of, quote, intelligence. We then have the robot college student test, which is a level more complex. This one would entail a machine enrolling in a university, attending all the same classes that humans would, and then being able to obtain a degree with passing grades. And finally, there's the employment test, where a machine can completely perform an economically important job, at least as well as humans in the same job. You might think robots are already performing factory jobs, but keep in mind, these robots are very specifically programmed. They didn't have to actually learn the job from scratch. All that being said, these are good benchmarks. Regardless of how it's measured, many think we'd need a century more to and others in the field, such as Yan Li Kun, cast doubt that it will ever be a reality. But all the way on the other side of the optimism spectrum, we have John Carmack. He believes AGI will be here so soon that he's going all in as of August 2022. And he's raised funding from some of the biggest names in tech. On the Lex Friedman podcast, Carmack asserted there's a 50 to 60% chance that human level AGI would be developed within a decade. And most surprisingly, Carmack said, it would only require tens of thousands of lines of code and a single person. But I think that what I said a couple years ago is a 50% chance that somewhere there will be signs of life of AGI in 2030. It is likely that the code for artificial general intelligence is going to be tens of thousands of lines of code, not millions of lines of code. This was so earth shattering because most believe that AGI was in the medium to far future. But here you have someone saying the exact opposite, who's one of the most credible people in the computer science world. If you don't know, John Carmack is responsible for numerous programming techniques that are still used today in pretty much every 3D game. He's the original founder of ID Software, which created Quake, Doom, and other games. We will potentially have unclear signs of AGI maybe as soon as a decade from now. Carmack clarified his position by saying, I do not believe in fast takeoffs, but I do think we'll go from a point where we start seeing AI-powered things that credibly look like animals. 
I think animal intelligence is closer to human intelligence than a lot of people think. And there's just the smooth spectrum of how the brain developed and the cortexes scale from there. Carmack is known for his reclusive nature, his genius, and his monkish discipline, which his remarkable gaming work upholds. In his time since working on Doom and ID software, he's been on the Oculus team at Meta, working as a consultant on VR matters. But again, as of August 2022, he's raised $20 million from heavy hitters including former GitHub CEO Nad Friedman, Stripe co-founder Patrick Collison, Shopify co-founder Toby Lutka, as well as venture fund Sequoia. The interesting part is Carmack is already a rich guy. He did not actually need this funding. He said on Twitter, this is a focusing effort for me. I could write the check myself, but knowing other people's money is on the line engenders a greater sense of discipline and determination. It's quite an interesting stance coming from a person who's already very successful. And that's why a lot of founders avoid funding because they want to avoid that very pressure that Carmack is seeking out intentionally. Keen Technologies might be the number one startup to watch right now. It's something I'll definitely keep an eye on and make another video on if we know any more information. Let's assume for just a minute that Carmack and his investors are correct and AGI is less than a decade away. Well, if that is the case, we've got to hope they're paying appropriate attention to these fields of AI ethics, which is the reason that Lambda AI was patched before it could get out of control. And if AI really does start taking off, we could be entering a Cold War 2.0 scenario. But I do want to bring your attention to the field of AI control, AI alignment, or AI ethics, and a few specific safeguards that people are trying to have implemented to protect us all. One red flag very relevant in AGI is the concept of embedded agency. If it has complete agency over its own body, running on completely embedded software, then it could more easily override its reward signals, meaning the recursive behavior that gets reinforced. And if this behavior goes into a negative loop, then we're in trouble. It could also modify its own software for self-preservation or accumulating more power, aka power seeking. Now the reason power seeking is always a serious consideration is because it's what's known as a convergent instrumental goal. Meaning whatever the AI is built to do, more power is implicitly always gonna be useful for more effectively achieving its goals. So whatever the reward signal is, power is gonna help it get there more easily. But it's said this is contingent on the AI having long-term goals in the same way that humans do, which many think is not necessarily guaranteed. That being said, if AI development turns into anything like the Cold War, where it becomes extremely competitive, then AI ethics is only gonna slow development down. And even if we can keep it contained for a time, the question is how long? Exact same way with nuclear weapons. If you have one takeaway on this video though, it's that John Carmack, a very smart guy, is extremely confident AGI is close. And if there's one person currently alive who could pull it off, it would probably be him. If he can really do it in 10,000 lines though, that is an incredible amount of power for one person to wield. So let's just hope he's got humanity's best in mind and is paying attention to AI ethics. Like I said, I'll bring you any future developments on key technologies. That's it for me today. Subscribe for more tech news and stories. See you later.